Kincaid with Survival Dispatch here. Uh, anybody that's seen my videos in the past, I've done a few on my wallet, a survival wallet. It's uh, pretty much got everything in it that I need. It, if I have no other kit, I always, always have this on me. If I have clothes on, it's like one of the first things I put on. Wallet, keys, you know, we have these patterns of life that we do, our little daily rituals. And I've been doing this for several years now, and it's come in handy. Uh, it's, it's saved me a couple of times, actually, and helped other people as well. So I just wanted to review it again because, you know, like most of our kits, over time, it evolves, it changes. So there's a couple little things that I'm, I'm doing different with it now. It doesn't take up tons of room. It's just your basic tight billfold. It's made by Spec Ops. I think they're uh, somewhere in Texas. Uh, super durable. I've had this thing a lot of years. And I love the compartmentalization in it. It enables me to keep everything in its place. Nothing falls out until I actually need it. Uh, one of the hardest things for us to be able to carry is a container because by its definition, a container occupies a physical space. And so one way we can get around that is by using the invention of plastics. So we have these bags here. Two canteens is what I generally carry for the part of the world that I'm in because water is really not a problem for me. I'm surrounded by water. So I feel like two is enough. Uh, super durable. They have a gusset in the bottom so that when filled with liquid and placed on a level surface, they'll kind of stand up a little bit. They're made by Whirlpack and really, really tough. I've had these same two for a while now. Now, if I go to a desert, uh, I'd probably carry lots more because in addition to just being able to dip into the water and take off and then drop some tablets in there, you can place it over a limb and use it as a transpiration bag. It won't yield you much water, but some water is better than none. Uh, so I definitely recommend that you carry those. Super flat, doesn't take up a lot of room, doesn't weigh a lot. Fresnel lens, I highly recommend these. I keep them in several places. I'm a big fan of solar ignition. You know, why sweat when you can just capture the rays of the sun? Poof, fire. These are some MSR tablets for water purification. So this enables me to circumvent fire to a certain extent. If I want water, I just go up and dip this into the source, drop some tablets in it and go. It gives me the ability to carry that water to a second location. Uh, after water, of course, we're gonna, gonna need fire. So here we have a hacksaw blade and a ferro rod, both to which I have attached the little orange duct tape. Duct tape itself can be a fire extender that could be taken off and used for other purposes. But in low light, no light situations, it helps me to, to spot these things. Or if I drop them, I can backtrack and find them in the leaves. Something solid black is really hard to see. Here I've used some bank line to make a lanyard so that this little white light can be worn around my neck. And that helps me at nighttime to be able to walk without falling off the cliff and I can signal with it. This is a common drinking straw in a bright color and just using a cigarette lighter and a Leatherman multi-tool, you can crimp the edges down, use a toothpick, get some cotton balls and Vaseline, ramrod them in there and seal it. This thing will burn probably around nine, 10 minutes. Uh, you, I've tested this actually fully submerged in the water with my kit and come out and made a fire with this. So really important to have that on a stormy day when tender's kind of a problem for you. And this is the top portion of the light. I keep it loose so that the battery doesn't become engaged in there and I can, I can have that battery life when I need it. Inside of this duct tape, I've just made two tabs and we have 65 pound test fishing line in a mossy green type color. And I backed it with orange duct tape again for visibility. So this is the smallest cordage that I can carry that's still robust enough. You know, I can sew with it. I can fish with it. I could even do some light trapping with it. So that's good to have. And in conjunction with the fishing line, I'm going to have to have hooks and sinkers, which I have placed inside of this duct tape, again, with the two tabs so that you can open it up, withdraw one weight, one hook. You don't have all these loose hooks floating around in your kit. And there's also a pre-threaded needle on the outside of that if I need to do a quick clothing repair. This is uh, a couple of tenth ounce gold coins. Might need them, might not, but if you travel overseas, that may actually come in handy in certain situations. Here I have a button compass. It's one of the NATO button compasses and I keep it wrapped in the duct tape. 
because over time, the last one I had in here, I found that the face got really, really scratched up and it was kind of hard to read it. So this protects it and I'll open it up when I actually need it. And here from Wazoo Survival, I have a couple of their little tender tablets that have uh, like a, a bacitracin type antibiotic on it that you could use in a first aid application. Or you could actually make your own using the, the drinking straw in that fashion. But those are super tiny, so I figured that would work. Not taking up a lot of space. I also have a Sigma mirror and I keep the plastic on there for the same reason that I tape up the compass so it doesn't become too scratched up. Uh, Sigma mirrors are great, especially in areas like deserts where you've got long stretches of visibility. Also for first aid applications to check wounds on your back or places that you can't see if you're by yourself or if you have a foreign body or injury to the eye, you can use your functioning eye to look at the, the damage in the other eye and render self aid. Also checking ticks and leeches in those hard to reach areas. That's important for that. So you do have some, some medical capability there. Then moving on to this long zippered section in the center, I have a signal whistle attached to some 550 for a lanyard which also is the perfect amount of cordage for a bow drill fire, should I require that. And I have the inner strands I could separate for other applications. I have a good length of some tarred bank line. Um, it doesn't take up as much room as 550 and it's almost flat, you can see, by being mashed together, it really fits in the wallet. It doesn't eat up a lot of real estate. Some snare wire, brass wire, and a signal panel that I could also use as a pre-filter to get some sediment and some floaties out of the water. A British Commando wire saw with the barrel swivels. The rings have been replaced and now I use the parachute cord in the ends because it's a little lighter that way and works better for me. These, uh, these are underestimated. You know, obviously I'm not going to tackle a huge tree with it. But things, you know, thumb size saplings for shelters, trap triggers and things like that. You can even saw bone with it to fashion bone tools in Africa. You know, it, you can sell antlers off of an animal, that sort of thing. Uh, one of the guys in Africa actually took mine. He loved it so much. He was like, oh, I want to keep this. So I let him have it. And he used it to saw the horns off an animal rather. So that will aid in shelter construction. And that's pretty much it. So we have water, we have shelter, the ability to make it. We have fire through a couple different methods. We have the ability to see at night, the ability to signal in both daytime, nighttime settings, visual and audible signals. Uh, we can fish, we can trap. So that little bit right there would carry you through when nothing else would. And the importance of it is, is you have the kit on you. The big honking rucksack you tend not to have if you're walking around the mall or something. It's in the car or it's in the house. This is always on you. And you're going to be there wherever the emergency is. So it's really important to have your gear on you. And this is kind of what I have arrived at over a lot of years of testing and trying different things. This is the kit that I actually have on me all the time. And it's come in handy. I've used pieces of this in different situations and I was really glad to have it. So kind of take some of this. You see a theme of it is really thin and really flat. So take these ideas and make them your own and fit them into your life, however, and I hope it serves you well. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and we'll see you next time. <music>